basically talking about national policy, national policy for rare disease 2021. What is it, exactly it is? National policy for rare disease 2021. So, this is uh, article we will talk about. This article also published by the PIB Press Information Bureau. So, link is also given there so that once you get the uh, notes, so you can check it out for the further information. Okay. What the article is basically talking about? So, caregivers to patient with national rare disease and affiliation organized to the dissatisfied with the national policy for rare disease 2021. What is rare disease? World Health Organization defined disease as often debilitating lifelong disease or disorder with the prevalence of one or less per, less per 1000 population. However, different countries have their own definition to suit their specific requirements and in context of their own population, healthcare system and resources. India like many other developing countries currently has no standard definition of rare disease. India do not have any standard definition of rare disease and data for prevalence since there is no epidemiological data. National Registry for Rare Disease has been initiated by ICMR, Indian Council of Medical Research by involving centers across the country that are involved in diagnosis and management of rare disease. This will yield much needed epidemiological data for rare disease. Basically, rare disease, the government of India did not have any data to prove there is any rare disease. No particular definition is there. So, what exactly the key feature of this rare disease? Basically, patient registry for rare disease is to be constituted under ICMR, Indian Council of Medical Research. According to the policy, rare disease includes genetic disease. Genetic disease, disease like from one generation to another, another generation. Genetic disease, rare cancers, in, infectious tropical disease and dangerous diseases. Under the policy, there are three categories of rare disease. One is here requirement of one-time curative treatment, including osteoporosis and immune deficiency disorder among others. Osteoporosis is basically a bone disorder basically. Disease that requires long term treatment but where the cost is low and those needing long term treatment with high cost. So in three categories has to be categorized by the government as per the policy assistance of RS 15 lakh will be provided to the patient suffering from rare disease that requires one time curative treatment under the Rashtriya Arogya Nidhi scheme. Rashtriya Arogya Nidhi schemes, the treatment will be limited to the beneficiaries of Padhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana. So with the help of Padhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana, one who is the beneficiary of Padhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana can get benefit with the scheme of Rashtriya Arogya Nidhi scheme so that the person can get benefit of RS 15 lakh. So sometimes in the prelims exam they will get you the they will ask you the question. So the government is providing RS uh, uh, like 50 lakhs. So data sometimes incorrect, but in that case 15 lakh that is the correct answer. But make sure who is the beneficiary of Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogi Yojana with the Rashtriya Arogi Nidhi scheme they can get benefited. Okay. So if the prelims question is concerned is here, think about it. Consider the following statement regarding national policy for rare disease 2021. Take your time 20 seconds and think about it, which can be the possible answer. Okay. So basically, first one WHO defines rare disease as having a frequency of less than 1 per 1000 people. Second one, financial support and the Rashtriya Arogya Nidhi shall be provided by the central government for treatment of rare disease. Third one, the policy will make use of crowdfunding mechanism to cover the cost of treatment of rare disease. Think about like uh, some might be, we have, we have not covered such uh, many things in this. So think about uh, what could be the answer. Okay, so the right answer should be here as we have seen, this one is not the less than one per 10,000 people. One can be eliminated. So here is one, here is one. So right answer two and three.
So here we can see the solution is here. WHO defines rare disease as having a frequency of less than 6.5 to 10 per 10,000 people. National policy for rare diseases 2021 financial support up to RS 20 lakhs under the umbrella schemes for Rashtra Arogniti shall be provided by the central government for treatment for those rare diseases that requires over one time treatment. Beneficiaries of such financial assistance would not be limited to BPL families like below a poverty line but extended to about 40% of the population who are eligible as per norms of Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogi Yojana. With this Yojana that Rashtra Arogi Nidhi schemes that has to be mentioned. One who is the beneficiaries of uh, Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogi Yojana and we will get the benefit of Rashtra Arogi Nidhi schemes and that we will get the financial support of 15 to 20 lakhs. With the treatment in government uh, tertiary hospitals, only government will be endeavored to create alternating funding mechanism through setting up a digital platform for voluntary individuals and corporate donors to contribute to the treatment cost of the patient of rare disease. Voluntary crowdfunding for the treatment. So sources is here as we can see uh, link is mentioned here that is a pib.gov.in which has to be linked like press information bureau. So you can take, uh, you can get the, all the information regarding this. So in your prelims exam, the questions has to be framed from the government website also, like Ministry of Social Justice, Ministry of uh, like uh, Health also. So sometimes like PIB uh, our website also. So we have in this current affairs class, we have covered all the source, the questions from the, all the sources. So the UPSC has been asked earlier. So now the next question is here. Here is prelims specific. Article 1922 covers which of the following rights? Article 1922 covers which of the following rights? First one, protection in respect of conviction of, of for offenses. Second one, right to freedom of speech, movement and exp expressions. Third one, prohibition of traffic in human beings and forced labor. Fourth, protection of life and personal liberty. So, which can be the answer 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, 1, 3, 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4. Guess the answer. Take your time 20, 30 seconds to think about. So, basically, one is protection in respect of conviction for offenses, right to freedom of speech, movement and expression, provision of traffic in human beings and forced labor. This is not covered by the article 22. It is covered by the article 20, 23. This is not article 23. So, where is 3 options? We can easily eliminate. Here is 3 eliminate, here is 3 eliminate, here is 3 eliminate. So, as we can see that B is the right answer. So, article 92 to 20, 22 covers protection in respect of conviction of offenses and 2 is here right to freedom of speech that is article 19 movements and expression. Protection of life and personal liberty, so that is also here is here article, which one? So B is the right answer. Okay, so as we can see it here, article 90 to 22 consists of protection of six rights regarding freedom of speech and expression, assembly, association, movement, residence and profession article 19. Protection in respect of conviction of offenses article 20 is here. Protection of life and personal liberty is article 21. Right to elementary education is article 21A. This year in 2021 there was a question right to privacy which was in article 21. Protection against arrest and detention in certain cases article 22. Right against exploitation which is article 22 and 24 cover prohibition of traffic and human beings and forced labor that is article 23. <coughs> prohibition of employment of children in, in factories that is article 24. So basically the, so the answer was B. Now here is the third question. Which of the following is e-wasted, which is electronic waste? Lead, cadmium, beryllium, mercury, 
polyvinyl chloride guess the answer e west is asking which can be the answer okay so basically lead cadmium beryllium mercury polyvinyl chloride so basically right answer is this all <coughs> this all are known to be a e west So E waste broadly covers waste from all electronics and electrical appliances and comprises of items such as computers, mobile phones, digital music, recorders, players, refrigerators, washing machines, television and many other household. A computer contains highly toxic chemicals like lead, cadmium, mercury, beryllium, BFR, polyvinyl chloride and phosphorus compound so basically we can say so bfr basically which means that blood flow restrictions so a computer contains highly toxic chemicals like lead cadmium mercury so this is going to be a e waste <laughs>